taking on Heroic. And these Betway odds leaning in favor of the G2 side pretty heavily as well. But let's see if Cadian's Despicable Danes can upset the swing of things. Yeah, zero maps log for Heroic here on Mirage. So this is something new for them to try out in an official. We'll see if it works there. A favor right now, not in middle, as it's a bit of a slaughter from the G2 side of things. Amanek flashed out in B, and Nico trying to run the gauntlet, but he's going to get grenaded out. No armor. He just quickly expires down. Well, last no much, not much longer with one shot off and a response from Nexa. It's going to be the pistol round going the way of G2. Nice start. Good confidence showing from G2 in the CT side, pushing mid, getting in the face of their opponents and stealing away the round. Want to lead. Heroic get a force. They are not playing around, Harry. They want to get into the action sooner rather than later. Grouping towards B by the looks of things. A fast second round here for Heroic. Spawn smoke into the catwalk area here from Nico. But Heroic are not slowing down. They're just going to commit. Oh, actually, I say that they are slowing down, but they will still commit. That molly, however, might uh, stop things just for a moment. Util set up and ready to go. G2 with two players B, and with Nico coming in on a cat split, they're about to hit the B side. Yeah, are G2 ready for this one? Amanek waiting, and he hears them getting out past him. Nexa is just drawing the attention away, and this allows Amanek to bring his little trap and he'll shut down three on the back of it this round gets swept under the rug g2 take themselves a second and amanek makes a lot of money there in that round brings out the potential to see a uh, an early orp here in play over on the ct side wasn't going to be in this round because it is only pistols for heroic you don't want to run that risk if you're g2 you want to make the money versus these unarmored opponents but now, on the back of all this money, being on Amanek and Kenny, be sure to watch out for maybe even a double orb between these two, right? I don't yeah. think that would be too out of the question. No. Amanek constantly runs it towards the, you know, the B apartment, throwing it over there. So, yeah, definitely an option for G2. And with more money being made, the likelihood only increases. Hunter gets a double. Next, uh, finds a frag. And Kadian is dead as well. So that's G2 taking a 3-0 lead into this map. Of course, we're waiting for this rifle round for Heroic. That's what it's all coming down to. First buy, Kadian can even get the AWP if he wants. I think it will come with, uh, obviously, a drop from his teammate, but he's not going to go for it. Actually had the money himself, just sticks to the AK. Early days here, and you know it's a bonus round. You know G2 are running SMGs, and look at how many of them. Four with a FAMA. So this should be Heroic getting on the board here nice and early. If G2 win, they are going to get so much money. Oh, Hunter mollied out from the car, and that might be him dealt with. Indeed it is. Nico going to find him through the smoke. Smoke's exchanged in connector, and this sets it up as a bit of a weird gray area in the map. Now, that's both because of the color of the smokes and as a turn of phrase. Not really sure who's going to look to contest it, and Kenny tries to muddle his way through all the myths and in search of the truth, realizes that there's no one in this connector side. Amanek is deep in the apartments, and they do swing, they do check him. A nice read from Heroic, and this is going to see them with control at the B-bomb site. Nexa oh, on this dear. rotation in. Well, he does deal with Tessas. This should be it for Nexa, and indeed it is. So Jax and Kenny left in this two-on-four, hoping to get a bit more of a handle on this round. Kenny, we've been talking about his famous being really good. Um, which is a very weird phrase in and of itself. Yeah. But he was able to get one, caught by Stown on this flank inside of the A site, and he's actually going to continue to just tear down the remaining defenders. But that was the bonus round from G2. That's yeah. the important part to bear in mind. Now we get to see all the guns. Now we get to see the orps come out. And this is going to be our first like real look as to how these guys are going to stack up against Heroic here on Mirage. G2 don't need to worry about dropping that one because it set them up to win this with uh, an AWP in the hands of Kenny towards Spawn. A is going to be a real point of contention here in this round. We'll see if Heroic want to touch it with a very slow default. Two outside A, one mid, double under, putting pressure on B as well. Heroic are all over the map. They're making sure G2 don't uh, go for any crazy risky plays. And the, the hope for this for Heroic is G2 just settle back into a you know standard setup of their own and don't throw any aggression into this round. And that lets Heroic just execute their strategy into a standard setup, into a 2-1-2, two -two, more likely than not. We'll see if that's allowed right now. 
Got a player up on the catwalk, hidden behind the side of Borup, who is down lower, coming back up towards B, but his teammates taking the bomb through spawn are going to be heading in towards the A site. Here, of course, you'll find Jackson Kenny, one of which in, one of which out. Kenny has the open CT, and he's waiting for this contact play. Heroic are going to line up smokes. Jackson's getting curious at this time. He's about to get the information. That's a spot. Molly doesn't go down, but he does have a second chance. They're not going to uh, speed up off the back of seeing him. But they now know they should be scared of players inside of the site. Zeus is in every corner, Harry. Even in the corner of our room. Bang! Oh! All the time! Kadian actually has the bomb, and the, the dude in front of him is is shot. Harry, you've done it again. You've, you've really dropped the it, ball. Man. You've been muted. How many rounds has that happened? No, no, it was just then, uh, okay. just before that moment, just really? before the Zeus clip. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I I'm impressed that you're. So ability, but... I'm taking away your ability to mute yeah, your own man, mic. Yeah, man, I think after I'm this taking one. it away as well. I just, I'm just gonna have to cough down just the mic. Give me this, and then do that, and then never close that screen that you've opened on your PC, and then you'll never mute yourself again, Harry. There we go. It's all fixed. It's all sorted. But yeah, I mean, um, slightly moving me away from whatever that last round was. Regardless, it's gonna be a four-one lead. Quick reset from G2 on that outer site. But yeah, no, Cadian's walking towards default and the bomb is on his back, but the dude in front of him gets shot by Hunter. That slows him down and that actually stops Cadian from planting because the time is so low. Definitely too low for Heroic. They did the classic of getting the bomb out ramp and crossing towards Tetris and stairs instead of focusing on, on crossing into site to get the plant. Luckily, this round is a lot better for Heroic. Despite having less, they get more done. And Nico only on a deeg, but they're still going to be allowed to plant here in this A-bomb site. G2 might just save their three guns. That's all they have in this round. That's all they'll have in the next, as there's no money in the reserves, and Heroic have seemingly found their second. Yeah, finally making it work. Our oh, heroic over on this T side. And this is going to be a second one up on the board. Still early days. Still time for them to turn this around. And, you know, with this G2 squad, it feels like it's always been the case of, like, these strong starts that then start to turn sour later on in the game, right? So this isn't unheard of. This comeback from heroic would kind of be par for the course at this point, it feels like. Yeah, but G2 have got a good bit out of this one, so with an orb and a couple of rifles, they can certainly stop Heroic from building into this T side. Haha, -ha, psych. Quick pause first. Heroic want to work out maybe what G2 are bringing into this one and how they're going to approach it. I mean, Heroic haven't played Mirage themselves, so it's no surprise G2 have, taken, have not taken on Heroic on this map, which is obviously not only a bit of a formation of a new roster, but also... Uh, a team that hasn't really played that many officials, hasn't really played many events coming into 2020. We didn't have the, the luxury of seeing them in either Pro League or Road to Rio. So it's nice to have them on our screens here and now. Putting up a fight against definitely some of the best in Europe, G2. Undoubtedly in that position. Consistency is always the issue with this team, though. And even closing games, we saw that back on a Vertigo, it almost came back to bite G2. They did pick it up though, it sent us to a third, and here is the combination of all that action. Double under push here, G2 flashed out, Jax can't see. Borum spotted them though, and he gets tagged, now knows there's a second player there, can decide when to fight, and with the flash he goes and gets Hunter dead. Heroic with a two-man advantage, Kenny's pushed apartments, got, uh, he has got that info. There is a closer player he needs to worry about, falling out of the apartments and letting Heroic go where they want. Oh, 
Well, they've gone knocking, and no one's actually home at B. So the Danes, they've moved in. They've bought all their friends too. Squat is right. Yeah, that's allowed. G2 can't even do anything about this one. They're going to back away. They're going to try and save. Heroic, once again, another round that goes very, very dominantly their way. And this time they catch Kenny trying to hold on to this AWP. It will be a safe save though with Heroic getting away with four. No more casualties here for G2. Enemies are not close enough. Uh, this is a strong start from Heroic. It may have been a pistol with conversions from G2, but other than that, since they've hit their rifles, they've only won one round. Pales to the three rifle rounds of Heroic, or at least you know, one of them being an anti-eco, an anti-force rather. G2, however, still have a bit of money. It will attempt them in. It shouldn't, as you know, that loss bonus is beginning to build now with a couple in a row for Heroic. So G2 are going to have a really good buy moving forward. Nexo, what a team player. Gives Kenny the orb in this round and plays with the pistol behind it. So Kenny is armed and dangerous as usual. And Heroic are not waiting around. Yeah, they've already picked up the pace on this one, but that's going to lead them into this double stack between Amanek and Hunter. Amanek not able to hold the line, but he does put up two for his troubles. Tessez comes in with one of his own, and Stown is running the risk of going down. Oh, oh dear. dear, another dig. Oh, oh what? Uh, How's he alive? Oh, now he survives there. Really, really okay. good. But somehow, some way, he does. And so Heroic now tying this up, four to four. Reinvestment coming through for G2. It's going to be lacking the orb. It's going to be rifles out. They could get one glass cannon. I'm curious to see what the decision is. A tactical pause now called through for the G2 side. We're having a think. I'm going to mull this one over. No investment yet. What's the game plan? Because Amanek could get a glass cannon up. But like, that's not wild. That's not out of the question. But he's gone just for the rifle. So no AWP in sight over here for G2. Maybe they'll play a more aggressive round, right? Where they try and, you know, bring the fight to Heroic, figure out where that, that majority is, and go for a classic G2 round where they just play aggressive. But Kadian completely denies Kenny a mid-peak. Knocked out a connector like that. Just instant headshot with the AWP, and Heroic set up towards B. Bomb is outside of ramp, though, so if they do commit, that could leave the bomb getting cut off by a mid push. So they're going to wait for Stout to rejoin with the team before they go. Borup is still very much ahead of the curve, but as that smoke fades, Amanek has gotten into position on the balcony. It's a good angle. Heroic are going to be focused and looking into the site. They might not check their right side. Nico has cleared A, though, or is about to, and that's a massive kill as it might draw rotation. It might draw players away from this A site, giving Heroic the room to move inside of B. It's too late for them to go back spawn to A. They just know Nico can cause a real problem in the back line. G2 now are thinking they're trying to save and that's further from the truth that's so far away from the truth because heroic get a kill and b they don't commit behind it this is such a weird round stown has come out through spawn to clear this position and with the bomb they go all the way back through a very dangerous decision but a good call from heroic and finding a kill and b in the meantime has certainly made that better as well nexus should be able to stop the mid lurk but past that point heroic have a plant available Yeah, with Nico so deep in CT, their problems really are just beginning here on the G2 side. This AWP even keeping an eye on short side. And it's probably just got to be another one of these saves again. It feels like how these this kind of last three round streak for uh, Heroic is gone. A lot of these saves coming through and that's not even a guarantee here for G2. They are getting hunted. Heroic are not fans of letting them hold these weapons any longer. Terrorists win. Oh, the drop. Oh, that's so annoying. The last second drop. I was, I was sighing. Oh, phew, he got away. Borops walked past him. Nope. 
right back into the firing line, falls down the stairs, and, well, Chizu come tumbling down with him. Their money as well, broken. So your mic is muted, Harry, but you haven't touched it. And I can verify yeah. <laughs> that you haven't touched it because the mouse has been upside down the entire right. time. So that's a fun so one. That's a too. weird one. Yeah, so yeah. We'll it's, it's, it's going it. into auto mute mode. Okay. Now, it's a little bit Okay, of a right. Interesting. Let's see. Tessa is out in top of mid. They're not trying to silence him like they might be to me. The people, Harry, they just don't want to hear what you want to say. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's easy for me, right? Let's go. Heroic back here through T-spawn. And now creeping up into the apartments. When I say apartments, how do you mean palace? And they're going to look for this A-side execute. Now, they've got all the utility in the world to go for this play. And that's going to go raining on in. It's been telegraphed. G2 know what's up. This is as cookie cutter as it gets. Ooh. It's the standard A execute into these pistols. And already, Kenny has put one up on the board through the smoke. Another kill is found. And oh dear, they're really playing with fire here on the heroic oh side. My. They're sticking around. They're fighting the pistols as they try and cross into the site. And now it is just Cadian in this 1v2. Jax is very, very low. Next up, peak no, in the stairs. Cadian, as he looks what? down, it falls apart. I don't know what's going on. G2, they managed to find that round. I'm with nothing more than Deagles. Nexa. Four kills for next. He got boosted above the smoke in jungle, and he killed a palace player coming out, right? Like, that was the first kill, and I'm like, wow, that's sick. Then he runs through the jungle smoke onto bench and doubles up. Like, this guy, he will not let Heroic get comfortable, even on a full eco round. G2, get it done. And, and that's like the third or fourth time they've done that in this series as well. So this is not a surprising round for G2. It's almost expected at this point. Heroic run right into the stack and they'll come to regret it. Cadian does have the money for the AWP in the uh, round following. So Heroic still have a good bit of cash in their bank accounts. Double AWP though, available for G2. One gifted over at the end of the last. So Hamanek's got his down on B. Kenny's still here on triple side. Heroic, they are coming out mid from top and bottom at the same time. In the meantime, G2 are gaining information and map control with it pushed in towards the ramp. Connect getting smoked. G2 absolutely fine with giving away mid here as long as they trade other positions. Now, they have taken A. Here's the danger. You don't want to double flank all the way through spawn because suddenly you get beaten on a timing. And if G2 walk through connector as you're in T-spawn, well, you have to play retake A from a position they're expecting. They are going to commit with this, though. I mean, fair enough for G2. This is a very ballsy call, but if this is an A split, it could essentially lead them out of the site. Their rotate time will be very good, of course, but they'll be coming through positions that G2 expect. And of course, in the meantime, that leaves Kenny in a very big problematic position. Nice flank, though. Great timing. Yeah, the perfect time to pull the trigger as well. And they send Jax to continue through mid. And Hunter is the man to wrap T-spawn. I love this decision because if Jax dies or if Jax gets the kill, that's the man you're anticipating. That's the man you're ready for. It's Hunter, aggro at ramp that's now a bit of an X factor. And they learn that he's here. They learn his whereabouts. And this is going to keep their attention fixated on him. This maybe gives a bit more room to Jackson Amanek. Hunter out from ramp. Will lay waste to Tessez on this initial peak, but there's still a man in CT. Hunter hasn't spotted oh. him yet, but he will do eventually. And now he's like tunnel visioned on Borup. Hunter is really living up to his name. He wants all the kills. He wants all the fame. How can you gonna stop get him? It. G2, six on the board. I don't know, man. It's scary. Like, he runs into that site like an attack dog, man. He's just looking one by one. They present themselves to him. And he's able to put this sick round on the board for G2. Yeah, and that's off the eco win, right? You know, just getting given all the money, all the guns, and they put them to good use. Kenny with a big kill of the first player coming out A into Palace. Obviously, the flank from Jackson Hunter just cleaning up the retake there. 
P2, they're going to smoke the top of middle. They want more mid control. They want more real estate, but they're going to lose A at the same time. Jax is alone here, and he doesn't realize how fast they're coming. Flash goes over to mid, but that's a collapse. Kenny hits a shot. Jax finishes the job, and he's looking for more. But Tessus has already gone deep inside of the site. Heroic, a man down. G2 could afford to give up the plant here and play for retake. They've got everyone trapped inside of A. That's a good Molotov. Nico gets the plant, but it pushes him down low as he leaves the position. Kenny going CT to play for retake. He's on his own with the AWP. That's the only danger in this round. He's got to kill Tessas here. Oh, that's a big kill going back the way of Heroic. It puts G2 coming all in from the jungle. Yeah, and this is problematic. Now it's set up for a CT post plant. And, and in the blink of an eye, Kadian and Nico have kept this in the advantage of the Danes. Amanek is going to back on out, holds on to the AWP. This third and final map, it really is delivering on the promise of being a close back and forth affair because that has been the story of this first half of play. Still feels like we're yet to see a team emerging as the uh, the dominant kind of victors here. This one really is down to the wire. And as we approach the end of this first half, this is where the money really starts to become a big talking point. Because you'll look over at Heroic and you'll see that, you know, with the loss bonus they've been able to accumulate in these last few rounds, with the victories that they have found being clean, it's looking really good over here for Heroic. They've got some residual cash left in these bank accounts. And the same cannot be said when you look over at G2. They've got this buy, and that is kind of the extent of it. Next round would have to be an eco from the G2 squad. And it looked like this was going to be a fast B, but something has led Heroic to pull the plug on this one. They throw all this utility out. They had a man about to rush Catwalk, and I think it's because they have an idea that Hunter might be toying around with this mid-aggression. He's just out on Cat, like he's just stood in the open, oh, and he, he sees spots. the legs of Nico. Nico's showing a little too much leg Hunter's way, and he's going to wish he didn't. Yeah, maybe not the the cousin Nico, but uh, it, it is a kill regardless. He'll take it. No bowling today. Nico gets bold bullets, and it's a strike. G2, a man up in this round. 6-6, six, six, nearing the end of the half. This is where the lead is going to get locked in. Someone's got to take it. Who will it be? Heroic with only four, grouping for a B, execute. Two players here playing close. Amanek on the boost again, and Nex is jumping. That could bait them in. They might not check this position because they've just seen Nex playing close, and they don't. Flash out, Amanek's got the first. He can't follow up. Nico, or Nex is now, rather, hiding in the back of the site. Kenny's come on rotation. He's doubled up with the AWP, and the T AWP getting dropped by Nexa on the bench. G2, mow down Heroic coming into B. Absolutely no issue. 7-6, lead locked, and Heroic, they, they do at least have the money for these last three rounds of the half. They've got a pause behind it as well. A technical one, not a tactical one, so a bit of a change of pace here as things slow right down. Hopefully, just teams we can use all the like, and we can be back in very soon. Wow. That was good. Talk about resolving problems quickly. Yeah, I mean, I've been working hard here, Harry. Oh, never mind, actually. we It's all broken again. Oh, oh, I'll get back <laughs> to it. Alarm. Hugo, sorry, you were just saying you've been working hard here. Yeah, not hard enough, uh, clearly, Harry. <laughs> yeah. Well, there, there we, we go. go. It's really it's drawn awesome. to a close this time around. You can trust us, Hugo and I. We know a lot of things, and this is one of them. This game is about to go live. Seven to six right now. Heading into round number 14. And it's G2 in the lead. Trying to be the team to win out the half here. Every one of these maps has gotten close in this series. And this one is already no exception. And we're not even done with the first half yet. So getting into the second half with any smidgen of rounds extra that you can could make all the difference here. Lots of mid control attempted early on for Heroic. Something a little bit different here. They've really made this an emphasis in this round. Now that the utility of G2 starts to fade, what are Heroic hoping for? Where are they trying to look towards? Because they've got this set up so that it could end anywhere. They might just hold mid and wait and see if they catch any players from G2 trying to aggress, trying to go for these info plays. And, you know, speak of the devil, and he just might appear. And in this case, that there is Kenny S. He's on catwalk. He's going for these info peaks into mid. This is the man that Heroic might look to exploit 
to open this round up. However, Nico up through connector. There's a world in which he could get to stairs if he catches the timing and he could help Kadian out a ramp. Instead, Ooh, they're gonna try and pressure fine. Kenny. And Kenny, undeterred by the first few players, goes back in for three. Only good for two though. However, this A site is still holding tall and Jax has made noise. They don't know about Hunter. In fact, no one knows about Hunter and KD is going to find out the hard way. Borup gets shut down as well. It's 8-6 for G2 and now a 9-6 half feels likely. That makes a world of difference yeah. for G2 in this situation. You make a really good point and that actually could have been a really good fallback for Heroic after they lose two on Catwalk to Kenny. They get that trade, but because Kenny got kills, Kadian had run back ramp side. If he stayed there, they could have traded Kenny and and Nico could have split stairs while Kadian came out ramp. At bare minimum, hopefully they would have traded, and maybe that was a winnable round. That was the only way Heroic were going to do it. They didn't want to commit into boards B after you know, Kenny getting away with so much and a rotate definitely being there. So, yeah, Heroic just kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, and they can't get out alive. Now it's a force for the heart. G2, um, two, three rounds up rather, looking to make, or looking to get three rounds up at the end of the half. Got the guns to do it. That's a nice grenade. Significant damage, but a pop-up palace will work well for KD, and he does get traded. The SMGs find a success. Jax has to get the kills, but Nico's dropped in from above as well. Some way, somehow, these Ecos almost feel favored. Heroic did not have the guns for this round, but they have G2 looking in the wrong places, and that's enough to get a bomb plant. And a smoke in the face of Nexa forces him to jump window side into the orb. Nowhere where G2 can go. Every path is treacherous and filled with Danes. And uh, that's not going to change. Looking like an 8-7, Amanek. Surely no time at this point. Creeping, crawling, moving, shooting. But here's Bob to close the round. And that will be it. Seven at the end of the... Welcome back to the second half. It's G2 taking on Heroic in a bit of a banging matchup here that's gone the distance and looks to go on even longer. Split right down the middle at the end of the first half and, well, who knows where this one's going. Heroic certainly don't. They've not even played a CT side yet. They've not played an official on Mirage. This is their first and now they've got to deal with a fast take from G2 straight out of power. Yeah, no way in a round and... Well, somehow the trades have ended up in favor of G2. I thought Nico was going to get more Whoa. done there. Kadian, he's wiggling and jiggling over in CT. And oh, he's on to another. Go on, Kadian, my son. He's on three. And he's looking for a fourth. And Nate's going to do it. Stown does delete him. But a great round from Kadian. And an eighth now on the board for Heroic. Pistol round going their way. They tie this up. And they're looking to keep it competitive, Hugo yeah. Byron. If they take this win as well, like we've talked about the consequences, we've talked about the fact that you know this group is three Danes, G2 already losing to, I want to say, actually, I, I, I don't want to say the worst Danish team, like, you know, because that's not clear. I think the North Heroic game will decide that, at least in this group, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know where Heroic are in terms of matchup against North. I, I, I'd like to think that they're better, but... You know, the result here is looking very similar to the one that North had yesterday. It took them three maps, they got it done. Heroic is taking their three maps. They're trying to get it done. G2 on an eco, but that does not mean that it's a lock-in round for Heroic. Not by any means of the word, but this one really is a low investment. Two E250s and a Tech-9. That's a spot for lower play. Nico now in a bit of a problem as he's stuck between two waves of enemies. Luckily, teammates covering his top side of mid. He can just shoot down lower, and he's dropped a couple in the process. Hunter alone. They know he's here. They've got his grenade, and he's going to get finished off by the SMG. Nine rounds for Heroic, taking the lead, and G2 coming back in with guns. The crowd goes mild. <laughs> what was that? You can hear them roar into their feet. Was a mistake to serve alcohol in the venue, though. I will say that much. I don't know, I'm loving it. <laughs> Kenny down here in the bottom of mid, and he's trying to get a kill, an opener with this orb. Tess says over at short side, down with him, and this is the double peek into middle. Nico Whoa, dear. holding on. At, oh, Covered. At, Kadian is the, Kadian is a guardian angel. Nico was dead there. I thought Nico had died. And no, Kadian comes in. Guardian Angel, mate. Bails his teammate out. 
And maybe all heroes don't necessarily wear capes in this game. Cadian saving his teammate's life, putting Heroic up with a man advantage, leaving them at a five on four. And G2 now back to the drawing board. They're going to group up outside of this A bomb site with all four players. These rotations for Heroic are a pretty long way away, but look at this minimap. Nico and Stout both pushing into the apartments. At this point, Heroic, they know it's either mid or it's A. And it's not leaving much to the imagination here as Utility comes in towards the A bomb site. Three players out from Ramp, a second up in Palace. Kenny and Nexa, they've been able to keep this in even odds. This rap is still coming in. It's still very yeah. much on its way. Oh dear. It's just I... been chugging along quietly in the background this whole round, and they only know that Stown is here right now. The second man of Nico is a complete surprise if you're Amanek. Does he have this one in the bag? 1v3. Does find the first, but he's getting spammed. And a flash going up and over. Amanek, how Ooh. on earth is he going to survive? It does deal no. first, but not able to follow up to Tessas. And oh, it got close. He was on the not head. Quite. Yeah, yeah. He was I on know. the if head was, of Tessas. If there's half a second more in that round there, I think Amanek yeah. gets it. But yeah. yeah. Tessas, good job to close out the 1v1. Heroic 10 on the board. The AWP retrieved. And they're feeling pretty good that they're able to keep that one under wraps. Yeah, barely though, barely locked in by Heroic. That's a, a nice round for them, but G2 certainly make it close considering how, how locked out they should have been. Man, Amanek is such a clutch player in this team. I mean, this team is full of clutch players really, but, but Amanek has, has always been an entertaining guy to watch on his own. Eight rounds for G2 though, this might be slipping through their fingers. Heroic finding three in a row coming into this half. G2 have an eco before a full buy. It's a fast approach with the pistols again out A. It worked wonders for them in the past. And they've actually dropped the AWP and gotten control of that. The grenade trying to push it back. And I think it may have, but Hunter has grabbed it nonetheless. He's pushed deep into the spawn to pick that one up. Borup chasing the kills. There's a flashbang from Stown. He's fully whited. And Borup can line up kills. Stown assisting. Another flash coming out from their teammate. Nico sets him up and Kenny gets knocked down. It's Nexa alone. Deagle one on four. Bomb is for him, but that's about all he has going for him right now. Heroic have a bountiful amount of utility and as soon as they start sticking this defuse next has got to go out for the fight there's the tap they're sticking it with the one player that doesn't have a kit in this round dangerous decision but no punishment for it Stown's going to get taken down and the defuse will come through no problem it was actually a default plant as well so not even for nexa and yeah i mean at least the bomb plant right g2 are buying up anyway but now they can afford everything now kenny can get the orb and now that conversation we were starting to have back on Vertigo about the danger of Heroic picking up this series. G2 going down 0-2, losing to both North and Heroic, and then only having Astralis left to face in this group. Well, there's a risk that that becomes a reality again here for the G2 side. And if it continues in this fashion, it's certainly starting to look like that could be the case. A two-man advantage taken early on. Thanks to Barup and Tessas going aggressive down in middle. G2 left with just three players surviving. And they're all over here at A. They're trying to gain a bit of ground, anything. Really, at this point, if Heroic had given it away, G2 will take it. They don't have much of a choice. They get into this site. They're trying to find what they can, but no one from Heroic is peeking. This is gross, man. There's yeah. like everyone here from Heroic right now. And G2, they don't have any idea that that's the case. They don't know. They even just cleared, cleared up on top of the stairs. And there's players hidden in the connector, so Kenny is far from safe in this position. Saying that, he still finds one. He's still bought it into a three-on-three, -three, and, and these trades just haven't come through from Heroic. Yeah, they've not been given any. Kenny's posted up after his teammate died in spawn, but no one's peaked, no one's fighting, and now Heroic, the time is the biggest problem. It's not the opponents, it's that bomb. It's ticking away, and no one's even in the site yet. It's a default part. Heroic have to get in. They have to get past Kenny. It's a quick trade from the AWP, but no one's tapped it, and Amanex on the bomb, exactly on top of the bomb. Stown with a kill, but I don't know if there's time, even though he sticks it. it feel, I feel like it might just be lost. G2. Oh, they've lost it. Heroic pick it up. Wow, what a defuse from Stown. Last possible second. Jumps around the corner. Hits the shot. And I don't know. Amanek, if he just if he just hides, he wins the round. If he just doesn't peek, if he just doesn't trade, he wins the round. But he goes for the fight here and sounds so quick at pulling out his sidearm. Will pick it up for Heroic. That has got to be such a you know, uh, mentally, that's got to be horrible for G2. And you can see how close that was. 0 0.1 seconds on the defuse. 
Oh, for G2, that might cost them the map right there. So big consequences from that round. And what was initially a five on three retake for Heroic, it should have been a clean and easy one for them. G2, they got control only to let it slip at the last possible 0.1 second. That's wild. I can't believe that there was time for that. I really did. Yeah, I, I, I thought that, it was that's off. That's just so yeah. down to the wire. It's down. Balls of steel to stick the defuse. He uh, knows a thing or two about defusing these bombs. And maybe one day he'll teach G2 a lesson or two. Nico with a bit of a Ooh. spray down through uh, mid. Cadian nutmegging the, uh, the AWPer on the other side. Kenny gets one between the legs, but he's fine with that. I think you would have spotted the cross. That's two as well. Kadian's seen two players leave B. What does that lead Heroic to do? Information. But no movement, no reaction. This bomb is still here as well. So Heroic, it's a good decision that they don't abandon this B bomb site. It might come into play later in the round with G2 up catwalk and Nico smoked in the window. He can't offer assistance to middle. Kadian's trying to watch this uh, apartment's position from the barrel. Takes a look at Cat. Stown's still here. He can smoke a Molotov, and I imagine G2 will want to throw one in once they've spotted the AWP just to push it back. Kadian blinded. Has a Molly as well. That's going to stall things out. G2 have one man in front of it. Stown's dropped that man, though. Kadian getting grenaded out of the car. Nico swinging 4 1. It's going to be a trade on to Stown on top of the balcony. He gets mollied out, tries to smoke it, doesn't survive. Tess says now, has been trying to get back into this round. His teammate is so far away, and G2 have planted. This might just have to be a save, and you don't love making that call if you're heroic, but 2v4, not something they fancy. And if they do hold on to both these rifles, at the very, very least, they could look to invest in this follow-up round. Heroic, 9-12, to 12, still in the lead, but we've seen throughout this entire series that these comebacks just happen left and right. So... You know, a three-round lead isn't really much to be hanging on by at this point in time. There's still a chance for G2 to grind their way back into this game. For sure. I mean, think about how close this series has been. Map to map, game to game. I'm now here in the third. 16-13 on Nuke. Same story on Vertigo, the way of G2. That's led us here. To not wanting to stop after they've come this far. Still attainable, still achievable. Kenny with the cross shot, can't see because of the Molotov. Heroic are able to cross two players towards connector as a result, and they will be fighting for middle a little bit more than they have in the past. Often this has been a position that G2 own on the T side, splitting under with top, a common occurrence. Hunter coming in from the tunnels. B has been mainly left open. It's only Stown watching it right now. Bit of a heavy setup over on the A side of things, as well as his double cap play. G2 finally going to take mid. Hunter's been waiting for this all round. The window is smoked. He doesn't have to worry about that. It's just connector that contains a bunch of Danes ready to swing with some SMGs. If they get a flash thrown from anywhere, really, they can pop mid and be a real nuisance to Hunter. You can see how ready G2 are for something of the sort. And uh, now with a flash going out, the grenade will follow. Heroic are going to try and take fights. So prepared. Yeah, G2, they knew what was going on. Tess says has done what he can, but ultimately it's not going to mean a lot in this round for Heroic. They've lost mid and G2, they're tending over towards this B side right now. For Borup and Kadian, a long way away from the action. Borup's probably just going to have to save. And it's another call that you don't love. You don't love it, but you got to do it. You know, you got to play for the long game here if you're heroic. We've seen that all series long. Once again, G2 are hunting. And this time they've got their best men on the case. Detective Hunter and Special Agent Jax reporting in. And they both found him. They both cracked the case wide open, in fact. It's a tenth on the board for G2. They reached double digits. Two away from Heroic and with a broken economy lying in the Dane side right now, this 11th should be looming right around the corner for G2. 
Yeah, and to get broken at this point is, is not going to be feeling good for Heroic. That's only going to give G2 more and more confidence. They know it's coming. Hunter's got the info on A. He spots five players. And now he can just G2 speed things up and go elsewhere. The Molotov, it won't contain them, but it will kill one. Mickey gets picked up. Borum going to walk back into the flames, and Hunter gets a second kill. Bit of a mess, blocked by his teammate. But not a worry, because there was only one gun up for grabs, and Nico had taken it anyway. Heroic still conceiving this round, though, even with this save. KDN has no interest in moving. And G2, same story. They got a plant. They got an 11th round around the corner. So just hold on. Just wait. Don't move. And it will come to you. Heroic are going to be able to rebuy. They'll have everything they need, plus uh, an AK available. That could free up some money to buy the AWP. I'm actually not sure if they'll have it here because it's only third loss bonus for Heroic. And they went on a streak of five prior, so... Someone else has got to do the maths. Testers might have to drop it. Obviously, glass is pretty much always available, but don't want to do that. And yeah, okay, yeah. Only Testers with enough, and that would be glass, so he won't go for it. Heroic are going to keep up with the rifles. This 1AK does allow for that, but it also doesn't give you many opportunities to make a mistake, because G2... One away from 12, and they've got the money to fall back on if things do go wrong. I love the fact that this is all off of G2 making the perfect read that, that Heroic were going to burst mid, and G2 just wait in mid all round until that happens and then kill everyone. So good reads from G2 in this T side. It's put them in this uh, position in the first place, and five in a row to start the half from Heroic. They've been silent ever since. We might have a little B play on our hands here from G2. It looks like some fake utility gets thrown out from Kenny, and now the B hit comes on in. And Stown, well, he was alone for a moment. The short players are in, and boy, the Ooh. cleanup crew has arrived for the side of Heroic. Nico's even pushed the lower tunnels. Bye-bye, Kenny, and followed up is Nexa. 13 on the board for Heroic. They take one back their way, and they give G2 a bit of a taste of their own medicine. A very, very fast rotation, both in through Cat and Lower Tunnels. And that's enough to steal the round away. I love it. They don't fall for the fake that Kenny's trying to throw in. They've got a man jump peek in the van to get the early info. I'm liking these fun facts. They're certainly... They're certainly... You know, things that I'm not catching and, and little tidbits, little bits and bobs. And we're learning a lot. Nothing like a second round orb. I'm always a fan of that. Stupid investment, but it, it's just great to see, you know. I see the risk is you die to a pistol. And what did Kadian do? Yeah, he did die to a pistol. Yeah. Hugo. Damn. Crazy how that happens. Sometimes it be like that. It do. Um, in fact, if I'm the one with the orb or... You know, if anyone watching is the one with the orb, I bet it feels like that happens all the time when you yeah. go for those risky orb buys. That someone's going to be having success with them somewhere. Bang! And well, here's Kenny showing us how to be successful with his. He goes aggressive up into Palace, strips Cadian from the ranks almost immediately. And that's one of these orbs out of play. I think actually, uh... Hit control looking to be the aim of the game right now for G2. And Kenny, not content with one killer, A. Eh? He's thinking, how can I really drive this one home for my team? The answer would be a second A pick. And there it is. Kenny S gets yeah. it on the cards. Five on three now for G2. Kenny, he got one, he got two. If you know numbers, you might know what comes next. Bro, are you going to headshot him? We'll have to wait and see, Hugo. We'll have to wait and see. That Molly forces Tessez out into the open somewhat. Still actually trapped behind triple. That Molly, this one certainly will. And they are ready. They are waiting for it. Down they go. It's a double from Nexa out from ramp. And this A site crumbles under the pressure save. of Nexa and Kenny. Stown's got a save. And it's the 12th on the board for G2. This is such a brawly game of Counter-Strike right now. It's just not clear. Like, it's one team adapting, and then the other picks up three, and then the other picks up three. And it's like, no one's streaking together a victory here. No one wants to let go. So as soon as Heroic get comfortable, that's when G2 come in with a new idea, and, and vice versa. Now, here's my worry here for Heroic. At 13-12, they've saved this orb. 
They don't have loss bonus, at least not a lot of it, because, of course, they have been winning these rounds. And, and now, because their money's low, it might be very tempting to buy around this AWP. That could dig them a deep hole. That could, that could really put them in a bad place. If they don't win it, of course. I mean, that's the, that's the risk reward, right? It's not even necessarily the buy is the, the, the bad decision. It's losing it, which is the worry. You buy, you win it, you save yourself, and you still have a round buffer. It's, you know, can't feel better than ecoing and letting G2 equal up the scoreline before you buy up with only a little bit more than you would have here. So, yeah, hooray, they're going to go for it. And I, I would have done the same. But, you know, the, the, the worry is this could let G2 not only equal up, but take the lead on an anti-eco. Warp out for Cadian, looking to have some longevity in this round. He got picked up by Kenny very quickly in the previous. Not going to happen here. Molly, smoke into CT. Kenny trying to continue his reign of terror at the A bomb site. And this bomb, along with the rest of G2, isn't really here. It's waiting over in top mid. And they are showing a very, very passive round here on the G2 side, knowing the money isn't that good for Heroic. Oh, Nico. Oh, wow. He read it like a book. Jumps up on top of the boxes, kills Amanek, and survives the AWP. G2, they wanted to split A. Now they're back in spawn messing around. Hunters walked through the smoking con and they found him. G2 are going to go back towards A without the mid split, without the player inside of the A site, and in a three on five. This is going to be more than difficult. And that grenade certainly won't help. Yeah, Nico gets even more damage downrange. He spots players getting out through ramp. This draws the rotations back. Heroic, they did send three players over towards B. There was a timing where there were only two guys here at A. But now, because of Stown pushing through the apartments, coming in on this ramp, uh, on this wrap, in through ramp, he's in the back line. Heroic know what's going on. G2, they just cleared it. Kenny physically just checked behind, and he saw no one. And Stown has caught the perfect timing. He's got the round locked in. It's a clean one for Heroic, a flawless one at that. 14 on the board. But still money available to G2. And with the ebbs and flows of this game, with how it's gone, yeah. with the pause being called on in, I'm not writing this one off sure. yet. I'm not I'm not nope. counting my chickens before they hatch. I've learned my lesson, Hugo. Yeah, let's watch these eggs, Harry. Yeah, oh dear. Well, that's actually a really good stat to, to read or a fun fact. The three kills between the top and bottom fragger on Heroic. It's always nice having a close kill distribution. Obviously, what's nice is having a player go and drop 30 kills. But we saw, for example, back on uh, on Nuke, that didn't work for Nexa. He drops 33, he loses the map. Sometimes having one player popping off isn't good or, it, or isn't good enough because you know, there are certain positions, certain fights, certain rounds where it doesn't matter who you are and how good you are, you're just not going to win them because you're in the wrong position or yeah. that you're being outplayed or because G2 are using a utility well. So the fact that everyone's performing is a good sign. It means Heroic can depend on their teammates, they can play as a unit, and they can work towards a greater goal. And that is the victory. Only two rounds away from it now. stown has gone back and he has killed Kenny. Kadian died last time in that position. Stown will not fall for it. And this is it, man advantage for Heroic at 14 rounds. This is exactly what they wanted. And I'm imagining we just see them turtle down in these bomb sites now. They're still floating around in mid. But yeah, they're not taking any aggressive angles at this point. They know the pressure's on G2, right? Heroic, they are feeling so confident at this point in time. They can trade their way to victory in this round and they're still fine. G2 are grouping up for another one of these A plays, and these have not been terribly consistent for G2. This time, though, they've only got this double hold to go up against, and Stown's ult back in CT is fixated on ramp, so this maybe gives the player in Palace and Amanek a little bit more room to work with. I don't see a world in which Hunt is able to find much through the connector. Ooh. It's going to be wild if he does, but it seems like he's caught a pretty good timing and he manages to dodge the players in window. Hunt has opened up and he's coming in through Con. He's actually dropped the man on his way in. And now that he holds the jungle, he denies so much vision into this A site. But Nico, that there is a crucial frag because now the bomb is trapped in Sandwich. And while Nexa does deal with the first man, two players back in CT, there is no time to rotate away. Nexa, he needs to play for this A site here and now. He spots 
Cadian. Oh, no. And Cadian Ooh. gets the kill up, but Stown with a very important trade takes it then and there. And that's match and series point now for Heroic. Yeah, big round there. I don't think, you know, next to expecting a double CT. Stown had already killed a player from that position, but then he tucked and hid. Uh, oh no, he actually got to kill Palace, sorry. He, he tucked and hid after he got tagged after uh, G2 ran out ramp. And then Kadian rotates off a B to fire off with the AWP. And G2 think, well, there's only one AWP in CT. We've seen him. Nope, there's a double. And the repeat comes through. It's going to be Heroic finding 15 first and map match series point here in Group A. Heroic, they took Astralis a distance yesterday. They took them to overtime and a 30 rounder, losing both maps though. They showed us they came to play here at this tournament. And right now this result could be doing the talking. One round, three chances to do it, all the money, at least in this one. But that goes for both cases. G2 have it as well. Oh, it's a fast round from Kenny. And this might be the time to throw something like this in. No one is watching for Connector. No one is watching this position. Ooh. This and so burst. Kenny being so deep, this is something that Heroic shouldn't be ready for. Can he find any utility from this position? Bar up at the back in CT, does nail the first wow. and the second. Oh, looking for a third. Not quite able to deal with it. Man advantage taken here. Heroic setting up to retake this A bomb site. A bomb plant comes in for G2 at the very, very least to try and keep on fighting here on Mirage. Try and keep that dream alive. Kenny on his flank does deal with Tessez. And he's even spotted an AWP in CT. This is very, very slow from Heroic. This is giving a lot of time to G2 and it's giving a lot of usage out of Kenny in this aggressive position. He's allowed to reroute down into mid. Now the bomb isn't planted for him. So these players in the site have got to make a stand and Amanek trying to hold oh, the cross no. can't do it. Kenny, the bomb's not planted for him. He's got to get in now and oh, they're on the no. bomb. Kadian locks it in, but there's no time for the defuse. Stan was on the get off? He had a kit. Who, did Nico jump on first with Nico the, with was the no guy kit. defusing, yeah. Oh dear, that is a blunder and a half for Heroic. I looked away, Harry. I thought the game was done. I tabbed, I tabbed out. I was Mate, like, yeah, G2 cool. started leaving the server. Yeah. They thought the game was done. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. G2, get back in. We need you again. <laughs> it's not done just yet, boys. You Let's can still go win this. Oh god, what's the what's the comms gotta be like right now for G2? <laughs> they, they cannot be feeling positive. That's you know, that's that's G2 going, well GG guys, I guess, you know, I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow, I'll see you in the next one. Ooh. Yeah, they're probably throwing things all over their desk, Harry. And right then they need to rejoin the server because heroic bottle of defuse. Was there not time for the ten seconds? Not for the ten seconds. Did he stick for half the of it and then they swapped? Yeah, or? yeah. Oh. He started with like the first he got like three seconds in and then uh. stopped. And Unlucky. I think at that point, Stown had actually run away from the site as well, like thinking there was enough time. That's the second time that's happened. I actually can't remember who it was, whether it was the first half or the second half of this game. I think it was Heroic as well, where they were deep it was. It was, it was, with it was four Bar alive. Borup did that. Four alive. This time, Nico. One didn't have a kit. Yeah. And he stuck the defuse in a three on three or a four on four. And they won it. It wasn't a problem. But like right there is when it is a problem. Heroic. That's hilarious. Man. Yeah. I, I can't believe G2 weren't even in the server. Like Love even it. they were like, yeah, well, it's done. It's it's not done. This is the how it feels sometimes. Game. And now, ooh. ooh, a tag from short side onto Kenny. North, North, heroic. They've gone with this full buy here. They've fully invested into this one. I just can't believe that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I've not I know, seen Matt, that in a while. I can't believe it either. Let's see, we get a repeat oh, of that same dear. round again. If this goes to OT now, I will lose my mind because G2, they what? physically what? left. They went, I don't even know what's happening. We're into a three on three. Oh, the Eagles coming on a wrap round. This is chaos. This is madness. It's pandemonium and Amanek in amongst all the chaos puts it back into a two on two. Tess says in through connector, spots him, but isn't able to put a kill up on the board. Lower and lower oh, his HP goes. And finally they deal with him, Cadian. 1v2, it's not going to happen. Oh, He's no. running away. 14 on the board <laughs> oh, for G2. Happened. What is going on? Oh. What is this game? Kadian's got to save. 14 on the board for G2. And they clearly weren't believing a moment ago. But man, they certainly are now. They bloody better be. Because right now, you've just broken Heroic on map match series group point. 
and G2, they still have a chance here in this game. I can't believe it. It's come down to the third map. It's come down to possibly an overtime. I, I would have my money on that right now if I could, because Heroic are bronk. Broke, that means. They have nothing, Harry. They got 2k a player. They got an AWP. 15-12. 15-14, rather. G2 are making this happen. One more round to push them over the line, and they got the money for it. The same cannot be said for Heroic. G2. Oh, what a way to end it. This is an El Clasico. The B rush is open. It's empty. Heroic have no one here. They have a double under. They're lurking. They're flanking. They're fast. And the bomb could get dropped here in the back line. Sound stun damage. They've trapped the bomb. It's had to be smoked. Nexa needs to cross. Jax providing some support, and it does let the bomb get out of there with a Martov and a shot through the smoke. Jax is pushing us to OT. This was an OT that, that should have never happened. Physically, shouldn't have happened. G2 nope. weren't even in nope. the server to make it happen. <laughs> and here we are, Jax holding down the apartment. He's laying waste to them. What? And finally they deal with it, but this round just... Actually, I'm gonna hold my train of thought. Kadian and Nico, they've got it into a two on three. They're gonna try and give it their best go or else we're heading to overtime and Kenny trying to send us there. It's Kadian left up, 1v3, a nice flick, but the trade is in and we're going to My overtime. God. G2 weren't ready for it. Heroic weren't ready for it. I wasn't ready for it, but here we are, Hugo, OT in our third and final map of the day. And I've got to say, man, I've never seen it done like this before. No. It has never been done like this before. G2 have, have, have crafted the art of the disconnect strategy, Harry. You, you, give, you get your opponents too confident. You get them thinking they've already won the game. And then you strip it away at the last second and reconnect and close it out. You take it to OT. Their job isn't done, though. But I got to, you know, I don't know where these players' heads are right, right, uh, at right now. For G2 side, for Heroic side, I don't know what these guys must be feeling. Because for Heroic, they had this game under lock and key. They had a 3v0. They've lost the bomb, or lost the round to the defuse, rather. And then G2 pull it to overtime. They've got to be feeling pretty hyped about that one as well. And now with all the money in their favor, with 16k MR3, shout out to DreamHack for that one. I do like the max money here for overtime. It means no saving, no silly business like that. You're going for every round. You're going for every clutch. But who will be the victor? That's the big question here. Could see double orbs available for Heroic thanks to said money. But they're taking their time. I'm kind of just taking a yeah. minute. I need the calming me music <laughs> to, to relax me and remind me what it means to, to watch Counter-Strike. I need to get everything just kind of... Oh, let's just all take a minute. Please, join me in this. I, I just don't know you how go, this you go, stop again. talk. Stop oh, sorry, talk. Sorry. We ain't start game Pass yet. We stop talk. This is... Oh, time for composure. And then maybe a brief recap. Here you go. You want to tell us what's happened so far in this game in the calmest no, i don't know <laughs> in the calmest most pleasant voice you can can oh. you catch us up to speed as to how we've ended up in overtime here heroic they pick nuke harry heroic one nuke yeah g2 they pick vertigo guess what happened there g2 they won vertigo. they won vertigo nice. now mirage the okay. third the final the finisher eight right. seven at the half quite split yeah. right down the middle but just you wait. Heroic, they've got a few rounds of them. They bring it the distance, Harry. They take 15. They're about to push us over the edge. Ooh. And then G2 leave the server. And then yeah, G2 wait, rejoin the server. So and it's a whole new G2. Win? The heroic win? No, G2 no, no, no. Don't be silly, Harry. Wait. Don't be silly. This is this is not your average Counter-Strike game. They they coosted it? They coosted it on Mirage? I think we call it a Nico now. Oh, dear. Hunter versus Nico. The battle we've all been waiting for. Someone told me this is a great matchup. I've not really noticed anything between Hunter and Nico. No, no banter there, but <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm missing, really. We've got some tech problems, some headset issues we're being told, so do hold on for that. We'll be back in with OT in just a moment. Things are crazy here. And uh, I, I, I know DreamHack, they got to be loving the, the, the overtimes as well, right? Already with three BO3s a day, it's a long day for the guys in production, but... Well, G2, Heroic, they're making it a really long day. Yeah, I mean, you know, 
Sometimes the enemy of your enemy is a friend. That doesn't really work in that example. I yeah. After I said it, <laughs> I, I mean, I the, like, the enemy was yeah, the bomb, it is, but it's it not is, the enemy. Is Sometimes your enemy is, is your friend. Maybe. That people use. Yeah, maybe, maybe not it's in applicable. that context. Doesn't matter. We're back We're in. We're into Harry. overtime, yes. baby. Let's get this one underway. G2. They weren't expecting to be here. They really weren't. Nope. To the point where they weren't even in the server. So let's get ahead on this one. Let's see. If they can bring the heat in OT. Amanek down into lower tunnels. They're out in top mid, but it's Nico to find the first kill. Jax gets dropped through the smoke. Hunter's going to get boosted up into the window. Oh. And that's a little faster than Nico was ready for. However, Kadian there, ready to get that trade, leaves it in the advantage of Heroic. Must be a nice feeling for Hunter to go blow for blow oh. with a Nico for a change that he doesn't, you know, have any like family ties to. <laughs> You were going to say, like, doesn't hate playing, which, or something, you know, he, and he does hate playing it. Hunter talks about how he doesn't like being Nico, or, well, I mean, everyone likes being Nico, but he doesn't like playing Nico because he doesn't want to have to beat or, or, you know, only him or Nico makes it. He wants Nico to do well. Nico wants him to do well. It's a cute little relationship. But right now, G2, they might not be doing well. Next is trying to make it happen, but it's a three on three and it's OT. It's the first round. Stan's pushed the Molotov. He's fighting, but he can't hit the shot. Oh, the second time. Nexa walks right back into him and gives him a kill with the bomb. Now G2 needs to lead connector just to pick that one back up. They need to go past the AWP to get the package. Stan's seen him. They will get it. Kadian in the site doesn't realize Kenny's deep. He tries to scope, but Kenny is quick, not quick enough. Bar up trading and leaving Amanek with no time to go B, forcing the bomb part here in the uh, A bomb site. 20 seconds. He's trying to run down Borup. Borup has escaped, and Amanek doesn't have the time to chase. He can't run this deep into spawn if he wants this part to happen. 10 seconds. Borup's coming back for the kill, and he should have it dead to rights. That's it. Heroic first round of OT taken. And yeah, you, you know, you can see Heroic, they're taking this all really well, right? Like really healthily, you know, like it's all just... Yeah, good vibes all around. You know, yeah, like everyone's feeling good. Get the reload off, go back in, 10 more bullets, of Get course. Get off the defuse, you want to shoot him a couple more times, but... Uh... 16 to 15 and heroic they get the first in ot and this is good right like you want them to get off to a good start you want them to not be shaken up as to how they got to this point here and now if Re heroic just closed this <laughs> like they should have about 10 rounds ago or like six rounds ago that would be kind of funny not for g2 obviously they would have been like wow why do we even rejoin this server we could have just you know had another hour off but Fortunately, the wild ride that is Counter-Strike, well, it has no brakes. Strap in. Or get off. Heroic have had just no dominion over middle in the CT side. The one round they tried to collapse into it in regulation, they were knocked out by a four-man set of a G2 holding for the push. So heroic, they've been uh, tainted before. They don't want to do it again. When the smoke can come through for the likes of Kenny S, waiting for the fade, and it will happen. So, re smoke down and in through middle. G2 can move. Kadian's got the Molotov for Con. That's where three players are sapped. It actually fails, and the smoke got to triple. I like that from G2. They keep Kadian out of the picture here, and it's even on top of the bench to deny him above ticket, getting a view. That's a very interesting smoke that I've not seen before. Borup blown out of the water. Two left up for Heroic. They got it done with two last time, but this is not going to be the same story. It's Tess is alone now, a one on three. The AKs were saved for Heroic, but right now they have not come into play. They have not saved this side, and it will be G2 calling up the scoreline 16 all one round left of this half of overtime and another double orb for heroic to get there oh oh double wow. miss <laughs> Try it once, shame on you. Try yeah. it twice, shame on me. Luckily enough, there's no one from G2 there to capitalize on it. That could have gotten very, very bad, very, very quickly, but they've uh, they've dodged the dangers well. G2 now do have a foothold in mid. They've also got Amanek up in Palace, and so 
Early on, just spreading out, taking this default with a heavy emphasis on mid control. They really want to get this foothold before they commit to too much. And we're probably just going to see Nexa and Amanek kind of hanging around a bit to begin with, seeing if they catch any players going aggressive, see if they can get any info. And there are players aggressing at a ramp. I feel like Amanek had some kind of cue that this could be happening. He was really fixated on this side of the map from just moments ago. And he's even moved into position here. It looks like G2 are trying to split this A bomb site. Yeah. And now would be the perfect timing for it. G2 gonna catch this A site as Heroic have just rotated players away to B. Kenny threw that smoke from Catwalk, so it's gonna land again. You see he's got a gap below it. That's just a, to, to deny a top triple AWP or a top ticket AWP rather. This is a mess though. Kenny with a double dropping out into middle. Sounds avoiding the AWP on the other side, but now he's hunting it down and he will lose the fight. The Tech 9 comes out on top. Kenny with his teammate in a two on one. Nico lines him up, but he can't get a kill. Amanek closes it and it's 17 at the half for G2. They hold the lead by just one round. They need now two out of the next three in this half of overtime to close the map, to close the series, and to finish the game that they thought was already done. Well, it is not. And neither are heroic. They've got more tricks up their sleeve. Don't you worry. Double up on the T side as well, right in for a window smoke. They're going to be moving towards middle. It's actually a mid smoke, rather. Double ops on either side of the equation interesting to see heading into this second half of ot i think perhaps most interesting is seeing what heroic are going to try and do with yeah. stown and kadian right they've split them up kadian's over in mid stown's got his in the apartments and you're really hoping that this double orb can show its worth by finding a pick you don't want it to be a liability and there it is down opens up with his now kadian's orb left in middle paramount to denying oh these mid rotate my. next to biding his time Oh, only good for one. They are pressuring Ooh. him. And in quite a big way, next of falls, Hunter arriving at the site. Kenny is held back in market by a Molotov. So he's a little bit slower to arrive oh, here. Kidding. Hunter wow. denies the bomb plant at three on three. And the bomb still yet to go down. Kenny burns out Borup, but it's down delivering with this AWP. Three kills in the site, looking for the fourth. A nice flick from Jackson. My goodness, this round is so back and forth. It comes down to this 1v1. Heroic, they put a lot of faith in these double orps. And Kadian, the only man yet to get a kill with his in this round. Oh, the Molly going to force Jax forward, but not into the angle, not into the crosshair of Kadian. No. He lands the shot. And it's <laughs> 17 on the board for Heroic. They tie this up. Second half of OT, off to a rip-roaring start. And we wondered about those double orbs on the T side. Harry Stown gets three. He's just pivoting on the site, killing Kenny, killing anyone as they rotate in, getting Hunter. And that looked like that was a G2 round, right? After Kenny got mollied in the market, you know, draws in the attention, uh, throws a molly on site, Hunter drops the bomb, G2 a man up. It looks like a locked-in round, but Stown just jumps out of the apartments and just kills everyone with the orb. Traded by Jax, but Jax can't close the 1v1 as Kadian moving forward with the flash and wow, what a game we've got on our hands. 17-17 in the third map. We had a competitive nuke, another one on Vertigo going 29 rounds on both of the previous maps and this one has really delivered as well. Heroic not going down without a fight. Not without a pause either, but it's come to a close and we're back into the action. Stown doesn't have an orb this time. He doesn't want to be too predictable here as double orbs can certainly create problems for T sides, can hamstring you at times. Like Stan does a really good job, but you won't see that consistently and he realizes it. So back to a rifle, back to where he knows he can get value out of it. Amanek has an orb, Kenny on the A site with his. One player pushing A early, just trying to create a bit of a distraction with his full util as Heroic wait for B pushes, they wait for uh, apps pushes. They know that G2 have been you know, throwing in a lot of flanks, a lot of T-spawn walks on A executes, but because G2 are playing in the site, they know these smokes are only fake smokes. They know they see no one pushing out of A. And so G2 don't begin any audacious flanks and for Heroic, they just group back up towards A late in the round with more utility than they need and enough to set up a second execute volley. Jax is playing close, the AWP is in CT, and Hunter is in jungle. Here we go. Ooh, Kenny, a triple in with the first. 
Even more players about to come and grace his screen. And Kenny, wow, putting on a bit of a clinic here at the A-bomb site. Has support from Hunter. One by one, heroic. They Ooh. get stripped apart. And it's G2 in overtime to reach match and series point. Let's not forget, 13-15. In a three on zero, Heroic fumbled the defuse. Now we're in overtime and it's G2 who might be about to win this series out. Just one away from it. Either they take the victory here or we run back this clock again. Heroic, have they got it in them to take us to another overtime? Well, we'll have to find out. They've already tagged Kenny up. He has been so good in this game and this series, but Mirage, a must for Kenny down to 30 in what could be the last round of play or the round that starts it all again. Stalin receives a tag of his own. Heroic won another A attack, but G2. I mean, it's the same setup. In fact, it's even more dangerous. They have this time Hunter in the site alongside Jax, who has an off angle towards Palace. He's trying to find Borup, who's looking for this pick, but taking his time while doing so. Full utility, no rush to the engagement. Heroic don't want A after all. They're gonna walk out of ramp with the bomb. Back to his spawn. Borup's the only man hanging around here in the palace. Nico's still on ramp side. They're actually going to come in for a mid split and try and take over A late anyway. If things go wrong, cat to B is always an option, but Heroic right now, eyes set on one site. Mid is open. They've had no one here all round. G2 haven't been fighting for it. Nexus spotting from Cat. That's about the only information G2 have. Now Kenny has to post as well, but it's only a distraction so these A site players can actually get out of the palace and ramp. They want Kenny looking the wrong way. Yeah, and I might take up connected duties here away from Kenny, and that might free him up a little bit more inside of the site. Oh, Kenny dear. sees one through the smoke, wasn't able to find it, and Heroic, they have opened up with two quick kills at the A bomb site. Oh, make it a third. It's down to him and a Nexa, but Nexa is delivering. And now a two on two. 10 seconds. The shot misses Ooh. onto the man retrieving the bomb, so the plant is available. It's all settled here at this A bomb site once again. Heroic down to the 1v1. And Nico, the man who pulled the defuse earlier on, now has to make sure this bomb can go off. Nico toying with Amanek. Amanek, oh, getting tagged with every single peak, but still oh. not moving, not budging. And he takes a shot when he knows he has it. G2, they lock in this series. 19, 